Students at the new lower campus of the Carroll School on the edge of Waltham have a learning disability, but the school staff haven't lowered the bar as a result. These are children who are bright and uh, successful in so many aspects of their life, but they just haven't learned how to read um, in their early grades. The sky is really the limit for these very bright kids. After the Bartlett School closed in March 2009, the Carroll School in Lincoln purchased the 59,000 square foot property and renovated it to make way for 149 first to fifth graders. Students at the new campus and the middle schoolers at the other campus in Lincoln cope with language-based learning disability, or dyslexia, a condition that suffers from a number of persistent misconceptions. These kids do not see words backwards. The sounds and the symbols of reading just don't connect in typical ways. Unlike the Bartlett School, which closed because of low enrollments, the new lower campus was open in part to meet increasing demand. Packed to the rafters last year on the Lincoln campus with 297 kids. So this year we opened with 337 kids. The demands just so far outstripped our facility in Lincoln. High-tech whiteboards, up-to-date learning methods, and special training make Carroll's teachers uniquely qualified to help kids overcome problems with reading. reading. And most of the materials are based on multisensory use so that children are using all of their senses in order to gain knowledge of the reading that they need to learn. Sandpaper, he says book isn't bad, so we're reinforcing the letters with the materials. The largest class size is a class size of seven in the lower school, um, but the, the uh, teachers have that much more square feet in their classroom, so they can spread out and they can, have little, they can have little sections of the classroom and whatnot. It makes a big difference. The school began in West Newton, but has spent 40 of its 43 years in Lincoln, where it is well known. Unlike other independent schools, one-third of Carroll students pay tuitions through their home cities and towns. In order to qualify for public funding, students need to demonstrate that they are struggling in their current schools. With students from 75 cities and towns across the region, school officials are hoping Waltham parents will take notice and consider it for their own kids. I am, I am anxious to um, open our doors to more Waltham families. And we're not a fancy private school in the sense that we give financial aid and we are anxious to help as many kids as possible. So let's build a tower, smallest yeah. to biggest. For Waltham News Watch, this is Chris Wangler.